How would Fast and Furious 7 have ended if Paul Walker hadn't died during filming? The seventh part of Fast and the Furious was in many ways a milestone in the franchise. Firstly, after four previous tapes of the car action movie, the director has changed. Secondly, Jason Statham came to the movie series full-time, pleasantly shading off the other two big guys Vin Diesel and Dwayne Johnson. Thirdly, a high-quality script and a successful appeal to the past of the franchise allowed Fast and the Furious 7 to quickly set a box office record to this day. This film remains the highest grossing in the series, with more than $1.5 billion at the global box office. However, for a significant part of the audience, the seven also turned out to be the most emotional picture during the filming of the film. Paul Walker, the star of the previous films in the series, a favorite of the public, died in a car accident, and the authors of the tape made unprecedented efforts to first complete the tape. Brian O'Connor's touching send-offs turned out to be very beautiful and sincere if you did not cry at the place when Walker's car leaves the main track then you have a cast iron engine instead of a heart. However, we know that for the sake of this moment, and indeed because of the death of Walker, the film's ending had to be adjusted. But have you ever wondered what Fast and the Furious 7 should have been like if the tragedy had not happened? And how would the franchise have evolved if Walker had stayed on the team? Let's figure it out. So, Paul Walker died on November 30, 2013, when the shooting of Furious 7 was already nearing completion. The tragedy shocked his colleagues so much that work on the film stopped for four months, and there was even talk of not releasing the picture at all, but then Diesel and the company gathered their strength and in March 2014 began to finish work. In the scenes where Walker was supposed to participate, either previously filmed footage was used, or his brothers Cody and Caleb were replaced, however, it should be noted that the extensive participation of understudies was not needed Paul managed to star in almost all of his scenes. Except, of course, for the farewell departure. For the simple reason that the breakup with Brian was not planned, the franchise certainly had plans for the further use of the character. But in the time between Walker's death and the start of the final part of the filming period, the writers had to slightly tweak the ending. And only recently, the filmmakers revealed the details of what was in the script before the tragedy, and what plans they had for the hero in the future. Talk people, alright? Are you enjoying the video? I'm here to remind you to subscribe to the channel, before continuing to help the 7 Days Hollywood team, now keep the video, and see you later. And the plans were really big. Like the final film, the ending focused on an epic battle in an attempt to destroy the Eye of God, a device that could track the location of any person on the planet, but even more so, the ending was to prepare the viewer for Team Toretto's next mission. Screenwriter Chris Morgan did not reveal the secret that the racers were planning for the eighth film we don't even know if the appearance of the villainous performed by Charlize Theron was planned, but we can say that there was planning. Diesel himself confirms this even before the start of filming of the seventh picture, he stated that the new story arc forms a separate trilogy. Even more interesting are Morgan's hints that after the seventh film, the Toretto family were supposed to become a kind of team of elusive bad guys performing the most difficult illegal tasks of Mr. Nobody and his organization for this, a long-term contract was signed with Kurt Russell. In this situation, Brian was somewhat off track with Toretto and the rest, but this did not mean at all that Paul Walker would leave the project or fade into the background, it seems to me that the authors of Fast and the Furious plan to bring the internal conflict between Toretto and Ode to a new level Connor, to go back to the beginning of the story, to the times when two friends were adversaries on opposite sides of the law. The ending of Fast and the Furious 7 plan and the ending implemented are not too different, rather, subsequent pictures would be quite different. In the failed eighth film, Brian had to find himself between a rock and a hard place on the one hand, the increasingly criminal and illegal cases of Dominic, and on the other, his own family, Mia, and children. This could well turn out to be good plot twists and solid ground for a dramatic conflict, but, as we know, fate decreed otherwise. However, it is worth noting that the writers came out of the tragic situation with honor. 
Yes, I had to focus on other team members and bring Ramsey into the inner circle. Yes, the conflict of good-bad to some extent had to be shifted to The Rock and Statham. Yes, for the eighth film, we had to take a step back and look for the heroes of a new serious opponent. But overall, the franchise looks to have recovered from the blow. Of course, the Fast and the Furious won't be the same again, and for many fans the changes are fatal, but from an industry standpoint, the case with the reworked ending of the seventh part and the updated structure of the eighth film is an example of flexibility in extreme situations. The power reserve of the high-octane franchise turned out to be such that even a big tragedy managed to slow down the car only slightly and force it to use a detour, but not dump it into a ditch. We can only wait for the release of the ninth tape. Rumor has it that in it the authors will allow viewers to learn something new about the fate of the hero Paul Walker. It may sound blasphemous, but I want to see him on screen again, albeit in an artificial format. Such characters should not disappear without a trace. Hello, did you like the video? Did you miss it? I hope so for both questions, now before you leave, don't forget your like, and click on the subscribe button, to stay connected to the channel and receive our videos, see you tomorrow friends.